Newton, thanks so much for talking to me. So, already great performance. Um, what do you think of the festival? Oh, it's a great festival. I've done it. I've actually kind of lost count of how many times I've done most festivals now. In Studio Zoo was kind of because because we streamed the whole process. So I made a whole album live online in like five weeks on my own. Wow! That's utterly maddening. <laughs> like I've never. I've actually don't think I've ever recovered from that. I think my brain is still a bit. Why did you want to put yourself into such an um, extensive challenge like that? Well, I guess I wanted, I wanted to kind of open up. There was a few things flying around at that time that kind of made, made recording sound like kind of, make it sound like alchemy, like a kind of mythical thing. And I kind of wanted to show that you can, you can just sit in a chair with some mics and just make a whole album. You can just do that. Mm. And yeah, the response was so much fun online because you ended up with, there were people, mainly writers, um, that would leave it on all day. <laughs> And there was one erotic novelist in Australia that I ended up talking to. Yeah. All day, she just sent me messages what on Twitter say? and I'd answer them all the Carol Kaiser thing. And she like became like my online mum and was telling me oh, like really? wow, go that's to, nice. telling me to go to bed and drink more water and really? stuff. Really? Yeah. So developed a bit of a sort of relationship. Really bizarre. You can drive away, drive away so far, drive to I did co-write a bit as well. I write for other people as well, so I kind of do yeah. do it in both directions. Um, but there were all, very few kind of those cold writing sessions where you've never met someone and they're like yeah. sent to your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's this strange thing because mm. it is slightly awkward when you when you don't know someone and you've got to do something really arty. And creative. You've got to do something arty, but like you go also blend. like you have them. You have like they have to be honest with you, and you have mm. to be honest with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kind of have to be like, I, I, I hate that. That's a terrible <laughs> idea. <And> it <laughs> is like, really awkward. So awkward every time. I write with my brother as well, so that's. Like we're so over it. Then like, you could be really open. It may yeah, be confrontational. I've, yeah, no, I've I've sent him. That's out. rubbish, mate. <laughs> yeah, we've sent each other out the room. It's like, go and sit outside. Really? <laughs> Take a break. Make some tea. Well, because like, you're gonna get the angry. Worst you idea know. you've ever. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, you've got um, you you do some acting as well. Am I wrong? Yeah, yeah. I'm in uh, American Idiot at the moment. Yeah. I'm being a Californian heroin addict. And where's that? Uh, that's at the Arts Theatre in it's kind of Leicester Square. Oh wow! Okay. Well, so. Um, theatre, it's really fun. That'd be cool. And when can people see it in London? Is it just going to be? Uh, it's all the time. Okay. okay. You get one day. I think it's eight shows a week. Oh so wow! You're going to be a busy man. So I've been I've been away for a long time, and it's quite nice. It's really nice to come back to London. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. It's been amazing. Thank you. No problem.